All right, folks. Just wanted to show you all the new uh, Zandalarian troll druid. Got the. Uh, let's get all this stuff off real quick. Take it off slowly, right? What it's supposed to do. I'll leave the rings on, take out the boots, pants, bam, belt, bam, and hands, bam. Alright, so this is a new Xantro up here. I see uh, Orgamar back here in the background, don't worry about that. Alright, so this is the base troll. This is what you get, the male version anyways. With the tattoos, earrings, tusks, all the hair, that's all, you know, preference. Anyways, it also comes with new forms. We got the bear form now is a turtle. The cat form is one of these saber things from Zandalari. Okay, the flight travel form is a pterodactyl thing now. Got a necklace and tusks and the Mookin form instead of the big owl bear thing, it's this thing. The Trent form is still the same. They didn't update anything on it. And then the stag form. Now a raptor. And then there's one other one that I will show you down here in the water. That would have been bad if I would just fall. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. I think this water should be deep enough. If not, there's some over there and some over there. Okay, let's go in. Boosh. Yeah, there we go. It's warped. Danny. Let's get in this area. Yeah, it's the new... New water form. It's not too shabby. What's cool, you know, you can just boom right out of it into the air. Alright, well, and uh, also go over some new racials that uh, everyone gets. Go back into here. Is this? I know this water's even worse. Dana, 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 Dana. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Just swimming around, running into stuff. Anyways, all right, the new racials We've got regenerating, which is a 2.5 minute cooldown. Regener uh, regen's 100 maximum health, 100% maximum health over six uh, six seconds, but it is interrupted if you get damaged. So kind of good and bad there. That's, uh, I believe it's usable in combat, but like I said, if you get hit, you're kind of wasting it. You got the uh, Embrace of Paku, Abilities of Chance Grant, 4% crit for 12 seconds. Embrace the Loa, choose the Loa by making you an offering to Loa Shrines around the world. Blah, blah, blah. I, can, I think that's kind of like you can just talk to the little person at the uh, bottom of the Great Seal there and change your uh, Loa from Paku to Gonk or whatever. Next up is the uh, Teradax Swoop. Uh, this one is cool but has a long cooldown. It basically is the Druid version of uh, uh, Goblin Glider. 
like you hit that and you're like, oh no. So, you know, then I can glide down on this pterodax instead of, you know, the goblin glider. Which I don't have any more any into my bags right now to show you. But you know, as soon as you land you dismount the just like you would the goblin glider. And I guess you also get the uh, increased 2% gold, uh, the CGF gold passive. And that looks like that's it. Yep, that looks like that's all. So yeah, folks, you're no longer a hunched over slinky troll. Now you're a straight standing buff troll. You can also be a paladin uh, as a troll now. Or I think a DK and all that stuff too, but I think there's only two classes I believe that you can't be in this one. So pretty good, pretty good step up. I like the new forms. Definitely like this one a lot better than the uh, bird. And uh, yeah, that's about it, guys. Peace out.